Well, we play a lot of shows just in general. So we are not afraid to kind of like improvise. Well over like 100 shows a year makes it like interesting. When we play live, we tend to kind of fool around a little bit musically. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Matt on Rose Mountain was the first time we worked with a producer. Um, we've worked with some really great engineers before, like uh, Steve Albini and some people that we know personally from New Jersey. Working with a producer for the first time was obviously going to be a different experience, but I think that we're confident enough now working in a studio and kind of knowing what we need to do to get ready for that, that the actual songwriting process wasn't too influenced by there being a producer, but he had a lot to do with uh, the sound of the record and uh, kind of suggestions that really flushed out the project towards the end with uh, suggesting some instrumentation that we might not have otherwise chosen to do or thought of doing. We went in with uh, 12 songs for this album and then decided once we realized that all those weren't going to fit, we decided to cut it down to 10 songs so we could have five songs on either side ended up being right in the golden range of about 35 minutes, which makes for the best sounding sides of an LP. Lance came, <laughs> Lance came to see us play uh, many years ago in North Carolina, and then he disappeared for a while, and we saw him again in Portland, Oregon. And uh, he said, hey, we should get breakfast. And so we did, and, and then through a series of events, we struck up a friendship, and he works very often in New York. He was like, why haven't we made a music video? And we are like, well, we don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> we just started making one for fun. Um, and he, prior to him making the video with us, he hopped in the van, like on and off for um, one of our recent tours and just kind of like tagged along, and took some footage, some live footage, and then some other stuff from the van. So it was, it was pretty casual. And then it all like kind of accrued into this short, short little documentary that he made. I will always have a tender place in my heart for the New Brunswick music scene because a lot of the people who throw shows in their houses really have to work against a lot of, can I curse? A lot of bullshit. There are no like viable arts and cultural spaces. There aren't even a lot of people who kind of live in the area who are interested in going to see punk bands. But the a lot of the like really special people who open up their houses to have shows work really hard to just do it anyway. And it's a very transient community, like the kids graduate from Rutgers, which is most of New Brunswick, and leave. So um, at any given time, it'll be like 50 to like 75 some odd young people who kind of like hang out at shows and throw shows. So that in and of itself, just numbers, kind of makes it like a, a special gang of people.